Now, usually, I try to make videos that inspire you to travel or chase your dreams, and I'd much rather you watch those. But I do realize that a lot of times, chasing your dreams end up becoming a business. So I thought I'd lend a helping hand or two. Okay, so back to a state of normalcy here. Now we're going to talk about another ratio that I can at least walk you through with some confidence, all right? Not like the long-term debt to total capitalization ratio. That one, for some reason, it's easy for me to remember it only because it's so bizarre. So I guess hopefully it sticks out in your mind and you at least know how to compute it because we're repeating long-term asset um, on top and then long-term asset again and as a denominator on the bottom but you know whatever that, that that is what it is but this ratio i actually like a lot because we were concerned in our long-term debt to total capitalization ratio really with two things our long-term debt the amount of money we owe after a year and the amount of money we actually own and we kept it simple we just want to actually understand the relationship between the two so that's what the long-term debt to equity ratio is all about so first, why would we want to actually compute this? We've already looked at the total debt to total equity ratio. We've looked at the debt to asset ratio. And we've looked at another ratio that I don't really want to talk about anymore. But what's so special about this one? Why would a bank or anyone else be interested? Well, that's because no one can predict the future. Yes, you may be successful and you're able to pay off your bills with your operating income. Okay, so whenever you conduct your business whatever it is well whenever we i have to get comfortable saying that i'm sorry i'm just so used to doing things alone but whenever we conduct business we're going to be selling things right and hopefully we're able to pay off our bills with whatever it is that we make but for banks they don't want to give us money and then go oh man we shouldn't have given them money because that one year was a fluke because in year two when we'd be looking into our long-term debt we weren't able to generate that same profit. All right, so they would calculate our long-term debt, the amount of money that's due after a year, because forget about that year, this year, it may just be a fluke. That's how I want you to think of this. How much money do they actually own that they may be able to use to pay us back? And when you think equity, especially for bankers looking at this, they really care about your retained earnings because that's your war chest, okay? Because you may have issued some shares, but what if you already spent it on another investment already? All right, so that may not be cash. Yes, it's your claim, whatever that amount is for your preferred or common stock. Yes, whatever you're able to raise is you own that claim to that money, but it may not actually be cash right away. So your retained earnings, that's going to play a very, very key role here in, uh, in the equity, especially when we calculate the uh, long-term debt to equity because that at least has some cash that we may use to take care of long-term debts in case of an emergency. Hopefully we never have to uh, actually see that day because we are both, well, you especially are a very intelligent business mind and we're going to be able to make strategic moves that's going to guarantee that we don't have to dip into our equity. But let's just say for some reason, um, we want to talk about it. What exactly does it? Um, what exactly does it entail? It's simple. Just your long-term debt, all the money that we owe after a year. Money. Why am I writing this out? I usually don't. Money owed after year. Let's say that is a hundred thousand dollars because I like to keep the number simple. All right, guys. But again, it's very simple. You're going to find the information on the balance sheet. If a question tries to mix it up and give you a bunch of random uh, characters or account titles, just look for the ones that would be considered long-term debts, long-term liabilities, okay? And then, you know, your professor might try and get fancy and say, hey, we have preferred stock value of this and, pref and pref um, common stock value of that and return earning of this. You just add all that up. You add everything that'd be considered equity. Let's say our equity is a total of Let's be generous here. Let's say fifty thousand dollars. All right, it's very simple. You just say hundred thousand. Take all the money that you owe after a year. Okay, divided by your financial claim to your assets. Okay, and this 
purposefully would be 2 over 1 because I do not want to do any complicated math and embarrass myself. Okay? So what's the story that this is telling us? So very simply, this is 2. And for us, we like to keep things in ratio form. For every dollar that we own, we have two dollars that's going to be due after a year. But we want to make this make sense to us. We can boil it down a little bit more. And it's not a it's not a stretch for us. We can say for every two dollars that we are going to owe after a year, we have a dollar that at least we are confident we're able to contribute in case of an emergency. Okay, so that's how these ratios, that's how they work. Don't just think of the formula. Think of what the ratio is looking at. Think of the characters. Why would I look at equity and then look at long-term debt? Oh, okay, because nothing is guaranteed. And this year may not, it may be good, but next year may not be good. And my bank needs to actually take a look at the long-term debt to equity ratio to see if they're comfortable with it. And honestly, I wouldn't stress too much because you and I, we're pretty good. We're gifted with the, uh, we have, we're blessed, I should say, with the gift of gab, and we're able to convince the bank of anything at all, but it helps if the ratio is on our side. Thank you so much for watching. Turning a dream into a reality usually ends up becoming your business. That is why we have the Help Enhance videos. Subscribe, like, and feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Fans of Kindness, our Facebook page is also waiting for you. See you in the next video. Until then, be your best and never stop learning.